Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a question that many developers encounter when setting up their Java projects in IntelliJ IDEA. Our viewer is curious about a specific file that appears in the .idea directory called kotlins.xml. They wonder if this file, which seems to contain some Kotlin configuration, should be added to their version control ignore file. Let's dive into the details and find out whether this file is essential for sharing their project or if it can be safely ignored. All right, guys, welcome back to another tech video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Now, don't forget to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you'll get to that resolution. Anyway, on to the video. Cheers. Let's start by understanding what the kotlin.xml file is. This file is generated by IntelliJ IDEA and contains configuration settings for Kotlin compiler arguments. In your case, since you mentioned that you do not work with Kotlin, you might be wondering if this file is necessary for your project. Generally, if your project does not use Kotlin, you can safely ignore this file. However, it's important to consider whether other team members might be using Kotlin or if the project could evolve to include Kotlin in the future. If that's the case, you might want to keep it in version control. If you decide to ignore the kotlin.xml file, you can add it to your .gitignore file. This will prevent it from being tracked by git. In summary, if you're not using Kotlin and don't foresee any need for it, you can safely ignore the kotlinc.xml file. Just remember to communicate with your team about this decision. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. The user advises against adding kotlin.xml to version control. They mention that they never submit anything from the .idea directory. If you're using modern build systems like Gradle or Maven, there's no need for meta files. IDEs can extract metadata from dependencies. IntelliJ IDDA will create its own IDEA directory with configurations after importing a Gradle or Maven project. The user prefers to keep projects clean, focusing on sources, build files, CI, and README. They emphasize the portability of Java projects. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. You should not add kotlin.xml to your version control ignore file. This file contains important JVM target information and should be checked in. According to JetBrains sharing recommendations, all files under the IDEA directory should be shared, and kotlin.xml is not an exception. Additionally, popular Gitignore templates do not list kotlin.xml reinforcing that it should be included in version control. And that's it guys. I hope those questions and answers really helped solve that solution for you. If it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. 
now. Until your next technical video, I'll be here. Have a good one.